Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defence Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in defence sector. Brahmos is a name which everybody is aware of in the world of missiles simply because it's the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world. It is jointly developed by India and Russia. In today's video we will discussing about the lighter version of Brahmos missile which is also called Brahmos NG. The obvious question that many of you might be thinking is what is the need of Brahmos NG missile when we already have Brahmos missile whose capabilities are proven. Now before we answer this let's try to understand the requirement of Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force wanted to integrate the Brahmos missile with its fighter jets to enhance its land attack and anti ship capabilities. The Indian Air Force already has the air variant of Brahmos missile which is called Brahmos A. The Brahmos A missile has a range of 500 kilometers and can attain a maximum velocity of 2.8 mag. The weight of missile is about 2.55 tons. Now if you look at the payload capacity of Tejas it is 5.8 tons and that of SU-30 MKI is around 8 tons. So the lightweight fighters like Tejas cannot be integrated with Brahmos A. Even the SU-30 MKI which is a heavyweight fighter has to undergo several changes and modification before it could be integrated with Brahmos A. Yet SU-30 MKI can carry only one Brahmos A missile with it. Therefore, Indian Air Force was looking for a lighter version of the Brahmos missile which could be even integrated and launched from LCA Tejas and that is why Brahmos NG development program was launched. It is also called Brahmos Mini by few. Talking about Brahmos NG, it will have a range of 290 km which is lesser than Brahmos A variant. However, the Brahmos NG will weigh around 1.5 tons, 5 meters in length and 50 cm in diameter, making Brahmos NG 50% lighter and 3 meters shorter than its predecessors. Now, if we compare Brahmos NG with Brahmos A variant, it will be 1.05 tons lighter and will be more powerful as it will have a maximum speed of Mach 3.5 whereas the maximum speed of Brahmos A is Mach 2.8. Now due to its small size and lighter weight, Brahmos NG can be easily integrated even with lightweight fighters. The Tejas MK-1A would be able to carry two Brahmos NG and heavyweight fighters like Sukhoi-30 MKI can carry five Brahmos NG missile. Imagine SU-30 MKI flying with five Brahmos NG missile. This kind of firepower is going to greatly boost the land attack and anti-ship capabilities of Indian fighter jets. All of these capabilities were possible due to the new engine which is being used in Brahmos NG missile. As many of you would be aware, Brahmos is a two-stage missile. In stage one, Brahmos uses a solid rocket booster which is used to launch and take the missile to supersonic speed. When the booster is completely burned out, it is ejected from the rear end of missile and stage 2 of missile starts with the ignition of its ramjet engine. The ramjet engine does not ignite at speed 0 and needs the booster or secondary engine to ignite them when the missile reaches a particular desired speed. In ramjet engine, liquid fuel is used to further power the missile. In existing Brahmos missiles, 65% of the component which is being used is indigenous and 35% of the component are from Russia. However, the Russian component includes two major components which are its seeker assembly and its ramjet engine which India is trying to develop. The seeker of Brahmos has already been developed and tested multiple times. Soon it will be replacing the Russian seeker. The new seeker will not only increase the percentage of indigenous component in the missile, it will further increase the accuracy of Brahmos and also make it jam proof. Now the engine which is being developed for the Brahmos is going to be small, compact and yet more efficient and capable than existing engines used in Brahmos missile. This new engine will also will be used in the upcoming new missiles of Brahmos which is Brahmos X. On Brahmos X, we have made a detailed video and the link for the same can be found in the description section. If we talk about the development of this engine, it has reached its advanced stage of development cycle. As per latest update, we could expect the trials of new engine in next 6 to 8 months.
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector